optimization problem is about minimizing surface area. A solid is formed by adjoining two hemispheres to the end of a right circular cylinder. The total volume of the solid is 14 cubic centimeters. Find the radius of the cylinder that produces the minimum surface area. So in this problem, they are asking for what the radius is in order to minimize the surface area. So since we, they also gave you that the volume is 14 cubic centimeters. They gave you that the volume is 14 cubic centimeters. So that tells me when you write your secondary equation, it must be about volume. So I know that this one must be about volume. So since you are trying to minimize the surface area, then the primary equation must be about minimizing the surface area, right? So what is the volume? of this object. So we have an object and then we have we, they label the radius for you and they la label the height of the cylinder for you. But when you solve this problem, so let's say they, the problem just give you a picture. One of your responsibilities is you have to read the problem and be able to draw the picture and label the picture by yourself. You don't always get a picture. So let's say you are taking an exam, you have to solve an optimization problem. B, prepare to read and interpret the problem and draw a picture by yourself, all right? This is your job. So how do you find the volume of a cylinder? So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared, right? So which is the area of a circle and then times the height. So you have h many of circles stacking, stacking up together to make a 3D object. So the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times h. What about the surface area of a sphere of a ball? If you don't remember, don't, don't worry about that. I got the volume for you. So the volume formula is 4 over 3 times pi r to the third power. All right, so this volume formula is V equals to 4 over 3 pi r to the third and then plus the volume of a cylinder. So that is the volume equation. What about the surface area? So the first surface area uh, for the sphere, the ball, so the surface area, let's use SA. So that is 4 pi r squared. So that is for the sphere and then for the cylinder is a pi 2 pi r, right? So 2 pi r, 2 pi r is um, the circumference of a circle. And then you multiply by h. So that is just like finding um, mo multiply by x, not plus, multiply by x. So that is like finding the area of a rectangle. All right. So how come we didn't uh, do the uh, we didn't do the top and bottom because uh, the top and bottom, the um, the top of a cylinder and the hemisphere, they are attached together, right? So we don't need to worry about the surface area of this space and this space. So we only need to find the side. Okay, so let's fill out the blank. So this is surface area that is equals to 4 pi r square. So that is the top and the bottom of the ball. And then plus 2 pi r times h, that is the rectangle, which is the side. Okay, so since we have the primary is about surface area, how many variables do we have? We have r and we have h. Now tell me which one I have to get rid, which variable I have to eliminate in the primary equation. The hint is written in here. So since we are looking for r, right? So that means we have to get rid of the h. So we need to keep the r, all right? Because at the end of the day, you have to tell me what r is. I'm not looking for h, I am looking for r. So that means you have to use the volume and then put that in terms of r. So do you still see that the volume must be equal to 14? So that means you have to work on this equation. So in this equation, are you able to put h on one side? Let's try. Okay, so we have, so first, this is what we have to do. We have, um, pi r, so let's go back to red, so pi r square h equals to 14 times 4 over 3 pi r to the third power and then h is equals to 
14 minus 4 over 3 pi r to the third power divided by pi r square. So if you simplify this one step further, this gives you 14 divided by pi r square and then minus 4 over 3, right? And then the pi got cancelled. We have r to the third on top and then our and r squared in the bottom. So this is basically 4 over 3 times r. So that is your h. And then you are going to plug in this h to the surface area equation to here. And then after the job is done, you are working with one function with one independent variable. Let's use a yellow for that. So that is SA, it's no longer SA, it's surface area. The independent variable is R now. So that is 4 pi R squared and then plus 2 pi R. And then H is just that. So we are going to put that piece right there, 14 pi r square minus 4 over 3 times r. All right. And then we us expand and simplify as much as we can because we want to make the derivative easier. So that is 4 pi r, r square and then plus 2 pi r times that. So 2 times 14, you have a 28. And then the r, the pi got cancelled. You still have 1r in the denominator. And then you minus 2 times 4 is a, so we have a over 3 pi r square. All right, and then since we have a 2 pi r square, a 4 minus a, a over 3, so that is s a r 4 minus 4 minus that, that is a 4 over 3. 12 minus a is equals to 4, so 4 over 3 pi r square and then plus 28 divided by r. So this is a surface area function in terms of one variable r. And then you are going to take the derivative, right? Because you are looking for a critical point, a critical number. So you are looking for a critical point and then you have to prove that they are looking for a minimize at that critical point the function has a local minimum. So let's take the derivative. So we have surface area function prime. So that means we are take the, taking the derivative. You bring the two down, two times four is equal to eight. And then this is r to the first. And then this is r to the negative one, right? You bring the negative one down and then negative one minus one is negative two. So you have negative 28 divided by r squared. And then you have to set that equals to zero and then solve for r. So let's move the 28 to the other side. a over 3 pi r equals to 28 divided by r squared. And then uh, we cross multiply. So cross multiply, what is cross multiply? a over b divide equals to c over d. So we cross multiply. That is ac, aad equals to bc. All right, so r times r, so we have a pi r to the third, and then 28 times 3. All right, and then, so now we only have one r, so we keep the r on one side, r to the third is 28 times 3 divided by a pi. So that is equals to 21 divided by um, 2 pi. And then we have to take a cube root on both sides. So r is equals to the cube root of 21 divided by 2 pi. And then this one, I uh, like. I would like to keep this as an exact answer. So if the problem is asking you to approximate that, you can approximate that to uh, three decimal places. So that is approximately equals to 1.495 centimeters so when you do your homework especially if you are doing your when you are doing your homework online if the question is asking you to input a exact value then this is what you have to input if approximation is allowed then you input that all right so at this point what what is this called this is called a critical number so since they are looking for minimum surface area that means we are going to take the second derivative test. So we take a second derivative. How do you get a minimum? In order to get a minimum, the second derivative at this point must be negative, must be positive. So we have a concave up. And then at this point, 1.495, we have a minimum that is equals to zero. When r is equals to 1.495, the slope 
is equal to zero. We have a horizontal tangent. The second derivative test, we are looking for a concave up. So we can prove that that point is in fact the minimum. So let's proceed to the second derivative. So SA double prime of R. Where is my S? S A prime. My S A prime is right here, right? S A prime is right on top of, of this video. So right here. And then take the second derivative of that. So we have what? We have um, 8 over 3 pi. And then that is a R to the negative 2, right? So we bring the negative 2 down. Uh, negative 2 times negative 28. We have a positive 56. And then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So that is R to the third. And then you plug in the 1.495. 1.495. So that is 8 over 3 times pi. And then plus 56 divided by 1.495 to the third power. I don't care what that equals to exactly. All I need to know is 8 over 3 times pi is positive, And then the second fraction is positive. So overall, this must be positive. The second derivative is positive. That means the surface area function is concave up when the area is equals to 1.495. And this is the picture I have in my mind that is concave up. And then when r is equals to 1.495, we are at a critical number. Critical number means that point is either a local max or a local min. And at that point, we have a horizontal tangent. So concave up horizontal tangent, that proves that at when r equals to that number, we have a local minimum. So that means, in conclusion, the surface area is minimized when r is equal to 1.495 centimeters. That is the answer to this question. They are looking for the radius, right? So this is the radius. As long as the radius is equal to this number, the surface area of the object is minimized. So that will be all in this video. If you think my video is helpful to your study, please give me a like, subscribe, share this video out to your friend. I appreciate that really much. I see you all in the next lesson.